Good morning. Welcome to Faith in the Morning. Something good is going to happen to you today. So expect miracles. Thank you for starting your day with me. Faith in the Morning exists to help you start your day with faith and encouragement. So whether you're watching the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, or on Faith Plus, watch Faith Plus On Demand, listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, I'm so glad that you're part of Faith in the Morning. Thank you once again for starting your day with me. I'm just so glad that you're starting your day with faith and encouragement. One of the things we've been doing recently on Faith in the Morning, we've been sharing highlights from our series and the new book, No Longer Mere Mortals. The book is available wherever books are sold. Also, we've been talking about the importance of learning how to rest correctly so we can have the life God wants us to have. But part of the heart of No Longer Mere Mortals is renewing our minds and seeing ourselves the way God sees us. And part of that, when we begin to understand the core of that, it addresses something that is a topic that people talk about a lot on social media these days called imposter syndrome. If you've never heard of imposter syndrome, you may ask, well, what is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It disproportionately affects high achieving people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments. Another uh, definition would would say that imposter syndrome refers to an internal experience of believing that you are not as competent as others perceive you to be. And the thing is, we can even narrow down its self-doubt and it's usually connected to a poor self-image, maybe even self-hate of a person who's accomplished many wonderful things, has done great things, but they can't see it. Other people see it. And on the inside, they may be performing at a high level, achieving at a high level, doing wonderful things. But on the inside, they're like, well, I'm so insecure. I have so many anxiety. I have so much worry. I, I, I just, I don't know if I can go on. And what will happen some people find out that if they see, begin to see me the way I see me? What happens if they, I don't perform? What happens if I fail? It's a lot of what ifs, it's a lot of doubt, there's a lot of anxiety. And it keeps people in a mental prison that instead of moving forward and experiencing the life God has for them, they're consistently like in a hamster wheel, always trying to perform, always trying to keep running, trying to prove themselves, not really to others, but to themselves. And in today's Faith in the Morning and then on Friday and part of next week, I want to help you get rid of that. I want to help you begin to see yourself the way God sees you. Because when you do that and you see that consistently and you develop a mentality based on how God sees you, imposter syndrome must bow the knee and it must flee. So let's start with Psalm 139 first. Psalm 139, we'll start with verse 13 through 18. I'm going to read through a couple translations. It says, For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from me when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book there were all written. The days fashioned for me when I was yet, when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, there will be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation now. It says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. One more time in the message version. It says, oh yes, you shaped me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration, what a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how it was made, bit by bit, how it was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watch me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. Your thoughts, how rare, how beautiful. God, I'll never comprehend them. I couldn't even begin to count them any more than I can count the sand of the sea. Oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. Now, one of the things that we'll address before we go today is that David, the psalmist, the king, the prophet, is writing this under an old covenant. 
This is before the blood of Jesus was shed. This is before we could even have the opportunity to become a new creation. This is before we could be redeemed. But under an old covenant, David, although he has a covenant with God, is still a sinful man. He has been washed away. His sins have been washed away yet. He hasn't received the gift of grace yet. He hasn't received what's available to us in the new covenant. Yet in this old covenant, he could still say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Or as it says in the message, body and soul, I am marvelously made. Or the New Living Translation, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. So notice what David did here. He recognized how wonderful he was created. And it wasn't a matter of pride. It was an exclamation of praise, of adoration to God, thanking him for how he made him. So the first step in addressing imposter syndrome is realize you're fearfully and wonderfully made. God did a good job making you. And so here's what we're going to do before we close on faith in the morning. And we'll get more into this on Friday and then more next week. Just say this, Father, thank you for how you made me. You did a great job. Come on, say it with me. Say, thank you, Father, for how you made me. You did a great job. One more time. Say, thank you, Father, for how you made me. You did a great job. We'll build on with this on Friday and next week. Thank you for joining for Faith in the Morning. If you haven't already, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at Faith Christian Center or Carrick Butler or subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Have a great day and know something good is going to happen to you today. So expect miracles. God bless.